Today is the first day of a strike involving 61 campuses uh, called by the University and Colleges Union over 40% cuts to their USS pension scheme. This strike is really important for the UCU. Essentially, it could determine the future of collective bargaining in the sector because if the universities defeat them here, academics may be in a lot of trouble. For me and a lot of people in my position, retirement and a defined benefit contribution is actually the last kind of form of job security that we have. So I don't know where I'm going to be working next year, if I'm going to be working next year. But I know that if I stay in academia, even if I bounce from contract to contract, I'll be able to plan for retirement with the current situation. I'll know that I'll have income in retirement, exactly what that is, and I can, I can plan for that. It's not a good situation to be on a defined contribution scheme and one that depends on the market. So it's, it's stripping away the last form of job security that I have and people like me have. The significance of this strike really cannot be overstated. The future of the sector is determined over the next 14 days. And if academics lose, well, it could have huge impacts on the rest of the sector. Marketization, pensions, holidays, everything could go. We're all in this together. We all have to take part in whatever way we can uh, in supporting this action. Not only that, it's totally legal for you to do so. Everybody can refuse to cross a picket line. Everybody should refuse to cross a picket line if they want to defend their pensions. We would encourage everyone who works at the university, whatever pension scheme they're in, to participate and support uh, the industrial action here. Simply because their pensions are going to be next. Students should not cross picket lines, even if their lectures are still on. It's really not that hard. Like, if you, if you can't... If you can't be able to go to the picket, just stay in bed. If students are wanting to support the strike, they need to be going on picket lines, they need to not go to classes during strike days, but most importantly, I think, um, taking direct action. Um, I think that's going to be a way that people are going to win the strike. That means protest, that means occupations, that means sit-ins. Those are things that we need to be seeing students doing across the country. I think the strike's going to go really well. I think we're going to win this. I mean, just the energy on the first day is so great. I'm hoping that this carries forward in the next 14 days. I'm really excited. I think, I think that we're going to win this dispute.